Netherite armor isn't exactly rare. I mean, in just a few hours, basically anyone can get their hands on it. But what if I told you that this set was different? Because this server decided that netherite armor was too powerful, and so they completely disabled the ability to craft it. It should be impossible to get, and yet I present to you the story of how I obtained the only netherite in existence, and how I came to regret it. The end dimension was about to open for the first time, and everyone was ready to fight over it. Okay, we're gonna, we're going to go no. Things started out surprisingly peacefully, with everyone shooting the towers and minding their own business. Okay, got a crystal. But everything changed when the dragon started dropping netherite. Now, because this was the only set that would ever exist, the server quickly descended into chaos. Oh god, no, I'm getting dropped too. And before long, I knew it was time to use my secret weapon. You see, this server is called the Bliss SMP, where everyone has a special gem that gives you superpowers, such as the Puff Gem that grants the user mastery over air, or the Strength Gem that gives the user power in battle, or the Fire Gem, which I have, that gives the user access to the nuclear launch codes. Oh, I killed Ember! I killed Ember! Ember down! <laughs> and while I had killed one player, things were not looking good. There was a massive team that had been preparing for weeks just for this battle, and currently they have all of the netherite. And I knew that I had to get the netherite myself and prevent it from falling into the hands of people who would use it for evil. So me and my one teammate called together all of the smaller teams to create an alliance. And they immediately all died. Like, bro, are you serious? And just as it was looking like the netherite would stay in the hands of those who would use it for evil, Wait, I just oh, got kicked. Oh, did the server just crash? Normally, server crashes aren't a huge deal, but there's a slight chance that the server doesn't save, effectively causing it to go back in time. And when it restarted, we saw that it had rolled back a few minutes to before our teammates even died. No oh my god! This looks so Meaning good. that now, it was go time. Okay, focus down. Kill focus down. Got him! Oh my god! And just like that, there was only one enemy remaining. Smug M, one of the most dangerous PvPers I know, who had looted every ancient city on the map to amass over 35 god apples. This guy has never so much as heard of grass. Despite all of the people on him, he was able to take out one of our allies and nearly killed me. I need help, I need help, I need help! But eventually, he too fell to my overpowered fire gem. Oh, I died, I died, I died! Oh my god, he so many god apples. And so against all odds, we emerged victorious, and we split the netherite amongst our alliance. But it turned out that getting the armor was the easy part. Holding on to it would be much harder. Because there were still people out there willing to do anything for this netherite. And it was up to me to keep it safe. But first things first, I needed to move. I mean, literally everyone knows where our base is, and it's only a matter of time until some power-hungry psychopath shows up on our lawn. So we began to mine out the automatic farms, but just as I stepped outside the base... Oh my god! Mugum had returned with one thing in mind. So, I'm gonna need that netherite set. My teammate Silvasaur was offline, and because my keyboard sounds like a broken drum set, there was no way to message him without being noticed. Why, why do you want it? You don't need to know that, bud. Like, did you hear that? He is totally going to use it for evil. There's no way I can just give it to him. And so, there was only one thing I could do. Stall him as long as possible. Uh, just, like, for free? Or, like, are you gonna, like, offer me anything? Because as it stands, like, I don't really know about this offer. You're gonna need to up it a little bit. I mean, is your life valuable to you? Oh, thank God. Okay, I see. I see what you did. Oh, God! No, 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 no. I know what you did. I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, so but after a bit of fighting, we were able to chase Mugum away, but we knew that we would never be safe again. So we decided to completely destroy our base so that nobody else could use it. It's gone. But while doing so, we found a room that neither of us had made. Make your choice. Um, well, that's not ominous at all. So when two other players asked us to meet with them, we were obviously suspicious. But we had fought in the infight with one of them, and besides, we were desperate enough to hear their offer. Why? Why were you jumped at your base? It's because of the netherite that I have and don't really want to give up. Because of, of, of the netherite, right? Yeah. Okay. yeah. So, I want to offer you something. It's not a physical item. It's not something you can hold. 
But it is something that I think is very valuable to you specifically. And is it like. cryptocurrency? Not, not quite. <laughs> oh, dang you guys it. are moving base, and if you don't want Muggum and his entire team to track you down, there Ugh. is one thing that you can do. Okay, so this guy says like two words a minute, so I'm gonna just summarize his argument. He wants me to give him the netherite so he can <clears throat> distribute it, supposedly making everything all rainbows and sunshine. And well, I think Silvasaur put it quite nicely. From what I've heard, you're speaking bullshit. Don't worry you're, not gonna you're not gonna distribute the netherite. Oh, you're just not. You're gonna keep it to yourself, and you're gonna be like, Oh, I'm the strongest player on the server. I'm Will. I'm the strongest player on the server. And even if you're no, not, you're just asking me to give you the netherite for, as far as I can tell, nothing. Like, Will, what's Will, the you know, deal? The cat is being hunted down because he has the netherite chest plate. So your yeah. proposition yeah. is that I just give it to you. How does that, how does that make sense? Yeah, all right. Guys, netherite I'm, trying to, I'm, I'm trying to tell you guys that this isn't gonna end the way you think it is. You're not gonna be able to live a peaceful life. Owning that, you will never be able to live a peaceful life. Anyway, we ran away like immediately. And once we had come to a faraway island, I crafted an item called a gem trader. The admins had modified the fire gem, making it not nearly as powerful as it used to be. Not entirely sure why, it seemed pretty, um, balanced. And with this gem trader, I could swap out my fire gem for another random gem. All right, moment, 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 whatever. Mo <laughs> moment, it's certainly a moment. All right. Oh! Wait. Okay. I first landed on the strength gym, and while it was really strong, Silvasaur also had one, so I decided to trade again. Okay. Moment of truth part two. Oh. The wealth gem may not be the best for PvP, but it excels in grinding for items. This will be useful for setting up a new base. Speaking of which, we went off to make a new base where we could re-gear and hide from the rest of the server. And for some reason, we decided to do this while in a cult with Mugim, but it's okay because I'm somewhat of a master of deception. Oh, there's a fox. I mean, there's a... there's diamonds here. This is a nice cave we found. Yes, we're so bad at life. Anyway, we eventually made it to the very corner of the world. The corner of the ancient city. And there we began to construct a new base. But it turned out that not even here was far enough away. Because Mugum had somehow seen through my lies, and before I could even start recording, he attacked. But Silpha and I had bested Mugum before. What was so different this time? Bro, just has multiple gems? Okay. Yeah, oh yeah, he's swapping between gems. Well, he was employing a new and dangerous strategy where he used stacks of gem traders in battle to harness the abilities of all of the gems. But despite this, we were kind of holding our own. Until someone else showed up. Uh... Okay, that, yeah, does... <gasps> Will is here too. Guys, I'll work with you all if you just want to you... deal. No, okay, dude, 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 dude. Okay, why do we have to go with another raid? Alright, Dive Cat, if we die here, we die here. Now the fight had been going on for almost half an hour, and eventually something had to give. Unfortunately, that something was my pants. Come on, 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 and it seemed like the netherite would fall into the hands of the server's greatest tyrants after all. However, there was one last thing we could try. 10, 9, Nine 8, eight seven, 7, 6, Alright, go, 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 we somehow made it out of there, but there was no celebration. Silva and I had originally just wanted to live a peaceful life, and the past few weeks had been filled with nothing but violence and fear, and we had had enough. So we challenged Mogum to a battle to the death. If we won, he could never come after us again, and if we lost, we would hand over the netherites. We had one week to prepare. And I still don't have any pants.
Once we had enough materials, it was time to switch to a new gem. And I landed on the speed gem, one of the strongest on the entire server. Oh yeah. Besides allowing me to move quickly, the speed gem could slow enemies and create speed storms that increase my attack speed. At this point, there were only a few days until the duel, and we desperately needed to practice. In the time since they had jumped us, Muggum had betrayed Will. And because of this, Will agreed to help Silva and I train for the fight. We put in insane hours, coming up with strategies to fight against every single gem. And in addition to this, we practiced our own deadly technique. By combining my speedstorm with Silva's Chad strength, we could kill someone in a matter of seconds. We called this the experience. But of course, we couldn't just do it right off the bat. We would have to wait until Muggum traded to a gem that wouldn't be able to counter it. But by now, the week was up. And ready or not, it was time to end this conflict once and for all. We would either leave this duel with the ability to live peacefully or cowering in fear of the most power hungry player on the server. And after writing a 14 page contract, we invited Muggum over. Yo Muggum, oh, how's it going? Until it was time. I'm ready. Alright. Uh, not now, not now. Yeah, wait for his last time to go. Oh, no, oh yeah, don't do it, don't do it. Oh! Experience, 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 experience. I know what it is, I know exactly what it is, it's that same strategy. Yes! What? Holy! And that's a wrap! And that's a wrap! <laughs>